Bituno Ortiz Emilio was not accustomed to waiting, a former Miss Venezuela and Miss Universe runner-up. She is now the wife of Miami Auto Parts Icon, Herman Ortiz Emilio. At every restaurant she chose to grace with her presence, she was always greeted with reverence and wish to the exact table she desired. Today, she wanted the corner table on the terrace at Sipsip, her favorite land spot on Harbor Island. She wanted to sit in one of the comfy orange canvas director's chairs and stir out at the gentle loving turquoise waters while eating her cow Caesar salad. But there was a large noisy group taking up the entire terrace and they didn't seem much in hurry to leave. Within a few, she glared at the tourists happily savoring their lunch in the sun and look how talky they were. When women over the town wrinkled and soggy, none of them properly lifted or noticed. And the men were even worse, all dressed in all rumpled shirts and shorts, wearing just cheap through hats. Why did such people have to come here? Feeling that she had been looked patient long enough, Bettina stormed into the kitchen. Jolly honey, what's to tell you? I've waited more than 15 minutes for my table. Sorry Bettina, it's been one of those days. The party of 12 on the terrace showed up first just before you did. But the terrace is my prime spot. Why on earth did you let those tourists take up all that space? Well, that tourist in the red fishing cap is the deck of Glen Cora. His party just bought it over from Wendermer. That's his royal hostman. You see more of the coast. Isn't it the most handsome sailboat you've ever seen? I'm not impressed by big boats. Bettina hoppled, although secretly, she was rather impressed by people with big titles. From the kitchen window, she surveyed the party assembled on the terrace with new eyes. These Aresto British types were such a strange breed. Sure, they had their Sabal Rose suits and their Harlow Charas, but when they traveled, they looked so painfully frumpy. It was only then that Bettina noticed three men, well built men and fitted with white t shirts and black Kevlar hats, sitting at the adjacent table. The guys weren't eating but sat watchfully sipping glasses of salt or water. I assumed that the took security data. They couldn't be more obvious, don't they know that we're all billionaires here in Brilliant? And this isn't how we rule. Actually, those bodyguards belong to the Duke's special guests. They did a whole sweep of the restaurant before the party arrived. They even searched my walk-in freezer. See that Chinese fellow seated at the end of the table? Bettina squinted through her sunglasses at the portly, balding, 70-something Asian man dressed in a nondescript white shirt sleeve golf shirt and gray trousers. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Am I supposed to know who he is? That's Alfred Chan! He looks like their chauffeur, doesn't he look like that guy that used to drive Jane Wayman around in Falcon Crest? From what I hear, that chauffeur is the most powerful man in Asia. What's his name again? 